We are going to talk about anger and so many people have anger issues. And if you look deeply inside of a person that has anger issues, you are going to find that deep inside of them, they have low self-esteem. You are going to find that. <clears throat> the same with people who are prideful and conceited. So keep that in mind. Let's go to Proverbs 19 and 11. The discretion of a man deferreth his anger, and it is his glory to pass over a transgression. So what does that mean? Let's go to the expanded Bible. The wise are patient. They will be honored if they ignore insults. So you don't have to be around people who insult you. You don't. What is the point to be around those type of people? It is not a sin to separate yourself from people if you can't mix well with them. Because why would you tempt yourself to sin when you can easily separate yourself from them? Okay. Proverbs 29 and 11. A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it in till afterwards. Let's go to the expanded Bible. Foolish people lose their tempers. But wise people control theirs. So, this is saying you are foolish if you lose your temper quickly. So, think before you act. Think before you speak. Because you may get yourself into trouble if you are quickly tempered. If you have a quick temper. <clears throat> Let's go to Proverbs 15 and 18. A wrathful man stirreth up strife, but he that is slow to anger appeaseth strife. Let's go to the expanded Bible. People with quick tempers cause trouble, but those who control their tempers stop a quarrel. So as you can see here, you need to be patient. Don't be quick tempered. Don't. Fix your low self esteem because that is the root problem. I don't know what happened to you back in the past, but you need to get over it. Because if you think about it, everyone has had something bad happen to them back in the past. I know I have. Many people have. To just think of yourself and wanting people to have pity on you, get over yourself. You need to move on. So are you going to just carry that whatever for the rest of your life, that is foolish. Get over it, move on, forgive. If you don't forgive, how can you get saved? How can you get into heaven? You can't. Makes sense, right? Okay. Let's go to Proverbs 14 and 17. Give me a second, please. He that is soon, he that is soon angry, dealeth foolishly, and the man of wicked devices is hated. Let's go to the expanded Bible. Someone with a quick temper does foolish things, but someone with understanding remains calm. So here we go with the quick temper. Don't have a quick temper. Because you are going to do foolish things, which you already have. I know I have back in the past. 
We all have to think before we act and speak because that is best. Not because or not only because we don't want to hurt that person, but what is God going to think of that, of what we say and do? Think about that. <clears throat> okay. Proverbs 14 and 29. He that is, he that is slow to wrath is of great understanding. But he that is hasty of spirit exalted folly. Let's go to the expanded Bible. Patient people have great understanding, but people with quick tempers show their foolishness. Pretty much saying the same thing. Same things. Okay. Let's go to Proverbs 15 and 1. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Let's go to the expanded Bible. A gentle answer will calm a person's anger, but an unkind answer will cause more anger. So be careful of what you say to people especially when you are angry. You can't just say anything to a person, especially if you are attacking them. Well, don't attack at all. Don't. There are going to be some people who you need to correct. And sometimes those type of people are the ones who get really offended if you correct them. So there is nothing you can really do about that because that is a problem within them. A person who does not want to take correction, that shows you that they have a huge problem. Pride. And as I stated before, if you look really deep inside pride, you are going to find low self-esteem. You are going to find it. Okay. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 7 and 9. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. So anger rests with fools. Let me read the expanded Bible. Let me correct that. <laughs> Don't become angry quickly. Because getting angry is foolish. So the act of getting angry is not a sin. But the reasoning behind why you are getting angry, that may be a sin depending on what the reason is. If it is hatred, unforgiveness, jealousy, envy, so on and so on, that is a sin. So, and don't stay angry for too long. Let's go to Colossians 3 and 8. But now ye also put off all these Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. So, here we go again. Stay away from anger as much as possible. Because it is not going to do you any good as you see here. Anger is not going to edify yourself or anyone else. Really, it is a waste of time. Like for myself, I get to the point where when I get angry, my anger leaves me within a short time period, really. It really doesn't stay with me for too long. Because... 
when you get angry, it is like putting a weight on you. Anger drags you down. And what is the point of feeling worse than what you already are? Like, life is already hard. Why are you going to put more weights on yourself? There is no point. So I get angry. If I have to, I may have to stop talking to a particular person. So be it. Because I am not going to go around and stay angry all day, every day. No, no, no. I have no time for that. Okay. So, but now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. So stay away from all of these things. Because these things are going to hurt you and other people, but mainly you. Because you are going to reap whatever you sow. So whatever you put out, it is going to come right back. So when you see people who are mean, crude, so on and so on, you better believe that everything that they say and do is coming right back to them. Okay. Let's go to 1 Timothy 2 and 8. I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. So, one good thing that you can do if you are the type that get angry quickly or if you get angry, pray. I know for me, that works for me. I remember one time I was so angry and I wanted to say so many words. Man, I went to my room and I was praying to God. I was saying to God, please take away my anger. Please take away my anger. Please take away my anger. Within 30 seconds or one minute of saying that, my anger was gone. Like I felt something come over me and whatever that was, I don't know what it was, but I did not feel anger anymore or I didn't feel angry for that time period. Or that issue that I was angry about, I calmed down. Makes sense, right? So pray to God to take away your anger if you get to the point where, no. Pray to God when you get angry because you don't want to say or do anything foolish. Okay. Let's go to Psalm 37 and 8. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. So, cease from anger. Do whatever you have to do from stop getting angry. As I stated before, it is not a sin to get angry, but it is best, best to stay away from anger. It really is. And don't do any evil. Because <laughs> if you stay angry for too long, you are going to sin. Think about it. Because the first thing that is going to happen, you are going to start to think. And if you don't control your thoughts, you are going to do something evil, according to the Bible. Sinful. You are going to do something sinful, which is evil, because sin is evil. Okay. Let's go to James 1 and 20. 
For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. So, the wrath of people does not work the righteousness of God. <laughs> Simple to understand. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's go to Ephesians 4 and 26. Be ye angry and sin not. So, you can get angry, but don't sin. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. So, before the sun goes down, get rid of your anger. If it is possible. Okay. Let's go to James 1 and 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. So, when someone is saying something to you, don't get easily offended. Work out your low self-esteem. Pray to God about it. Because I know with people who are prideful or people who get hurt easily, they have low self-esteem. So, it is not what the person is saying to you. It is you. Work on yourself. It is not that everyone is picking on you. Man, if you ever get to the point where you think everyone is against you, if you think that everyone is against you, like everyone is trying to get you mad or picking on you, you have to understand that that is an issue within you. Because everyone that you come across is not going to be against you. But if you feel that way, low self-esteem is within you by far. Okay. So, be swift to hear. So, listen. Don't lead to your own conclusions. Like a person say three words and you get mad. <laughs> no, sit down and listen. Stop taking things the wrong way. First, get the understanding, then speak. Because how can you understand a person if they won't really, if you are not giving them time to relay the message to you? Like you hear only 10 seconds of what they are saying, then you blow up. Okay. Sit down and listen. Let's go to Ephesians 4 and 31. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. So let's go to the expanded Bible. Do not be bitter or angry or mad. Never shout angrily or say things to hurt others. Never do anything evil so here we go again so from all of these scriptures the reoccurring thing the reoccurring theme that I see is be patient stop getting mad so easily never shout angrily don't shout at all actually because you don't have to don't say things to hurt people. Now, you can correct people and when you correct people, even if you do it in a very nice way or in a direct way, people are going to get hurt. So there is nothing that you can do about that, but 
don't attack the person like calling the person stupid or idiot or fool or so on and so on don't insult the person but you can correct the person so insulting and correcting are two different things they are not the same thing but to a person with low self-esteem they are going to take it both the same so there is nothing that you can do about that really okay so I hope you all understand this God bless